Hi friends, we are going to discuss uh, the switch interfaces status. So interface means a port. What is port? Port is a physical connection of a computer or a switch or a router. So just that's the physical connection. So here you can see the switch and they have the ports. So these are the ports. Okay. So we want to see the status of those ports as interfaces. And uh, we have uh, gigabit ethernet ports as well. We also have the fast ethernet or simply the ethernet ports there. So how to see the status of those ports or those interfaces in packet tracer. So we are going to see this. So for illustration purpose, have shown a simple network having two computers and a single switch. We want to see the ports of that switch. So just go to the, and you can create this network simply by taking these nodes and using the switch from this. And at the moment I have given different IP addresses to this and they are connected. At the moment we are only interested in looking at the uh, at the status of those interfaces. So just click on that and uh, go to CLI, command line interface, and we are here, enter. And it's good to use the show command in the privilege mode. So show interfaces. So tab. The command has been completed and then show interfaces status and enter. Now we have, as a result of this command show interfaces status, we have all these fields, the port, status, VLAN, duplex, speed, and type. We have different fields. And here you can see some of the ports are in connected mode and some of the ports are not connected. This is because at the moment in this switch, we have used only two ports the rest of the ports are not connected. So this was the reason of that. And uh, so let's discuss these individual fields that what do they mean here. As a result of that command, that command is show interfaces status, we got a table. So in this table, we have the information about the status of different ports of the switch. So the switch has different interfaces and they, they uh, that port or interface has different status. So in this table, we have been given this information. And let's see what does it mean. So the first field is port. So we can see here on the left hand side, this is the port. This is the first field there. And this field actually uh, uh, gives us the name of that port. And the name of that port is basically indicate that what is the fastest speed supported by that port. And that fastest speed can be, for, so for, for example, this is a switch and there is a port here. So by with, with this port, how much data rate we can send or receive at one time. So these names actually indicate that. So at the moment, FA0 means, means this is the fast, this uh, fast ethernet port. And so this, those ports can be fast ethernet, that can be gigabit ethernet, so this depends. But that information, whatever kind of port that is, that information is displayed in this field. The next important field is the status of that port. And uh, that status can be not connected, which we, you can see at the moment this is not connected. And that status can also be connected. So not connected and connected simply means that if this is not connected, it means the port is not functioning. And if this is connected, it means the port is functioning. So port is functioning or not, this is represented by these uh, values. And then we have VLAN. So this field indicates the VLAN. So VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. And in VLAN, actually, VLAN creates multiple broadcast domains using a single switch. So what happens, actually, this is a switch. In VLAN, 
we divide these all available ports into different networks, different local area networks, and we create those networks virtually, we call them virtual local area networks. In this way, we distribute these ports among these different VLANs. So this, this field actually indicates that which port belongs to which VLAN. At this time, we only have one VLAN, so all these ports are actually belonging to VLAN 1. But say, for example, we had three VLANs, one, two, and three, then some of the ports, for some of the ports, this should be one, for some of the ports, this may be two, so for some of the ports, this should be three. And we, we actually, actually decide that which ports should go to which VLAN. So that will be in another video on the VLAN. So anyway, this field is going to represent that which port belongs to which VLAN. The next field is duplex. So the duplex means, so in this switch, for example, so remember we are studying the status of these interfaces or the ports. So if one particular port or the interface is in any duplex, so we have half duplex or full duplex, so auto means this has to be negotiated automatically. We have not configured it. So this automatically decides whether this is half duplex or full duplex. And for revision, full duplex means if the, if the device is working in a full duplex, it means device is allowed to send as well as receive at the same time. And if the device at the port is working in half duplex, it means device is not allowed to send or receive at the same time. It means at one time, either they can send or receive. Finally, the type field, this indicates the uh, type of the port or interface of the switch. What type of interface or what type of port this is. It means what data rate this port is going to support. So in this switch, for example, there are different ports. So this, so again, for each and specific port, this is going to show that what data rate will be supported by that, what type of that interface is. If this is fast Ethernet, there may be again, there may be gigabit. So there will be different. So what type of port that specific port is? That may be Ethernet, fast Ethernet, or gigabit, depending upon the speed. So anyway, this was the last slide, and uh, I hope some of the uh, you got some of the idea. And uh, thank you, thank you for your time.